you can consider the oxidation number for water, H2O, to be zero since it's a neutral compound. And by that we mean if we add up the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in water, we'd get zero. We can use some simple rules to find the oxidation number for the hydrogen and oxygen atoms in water as well. Hydrogen, that'll always be plus one when it's bonded to a non-metal. So in our water molecule, where the hydrogens here, those are the white and the red, that's the oxygen, we could say that each one of those hydrogen atoms has a plus one charge. And the total of the oxidation numbers needs to equal zero for water because it's neutral. We need to have a minus two on that oxygen to balance out the two plus ones. You can also remember that oxygen usually has an oxidation number of minus two. There are two big exceptions to this rule though. First, and this is a favorite of test writers, H2O2 and the other peroxides, oxygen has an oxidation number of minus one. But we could have figured this out because hydrogen's always plus one when it's with a nonmetal. And the oxygen, in order to balance that out, is gonna have to be a negative one. OF2, that's another exception. We know that fluorine is always minus one. So we have this OF2 with two fluorines that are minus one. The oxygen has to be a plus two. That's because the fluorine is so electronegative that it means the oxygen is going to have to have a positive oxidation number. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for water, and thanks for watching.